So, you have an Aria player and you moved, your Aria player, you have a Plogue Aria player and you moved the sample files and you're like, well, okay, how do I deal with this? So what's going on? All right, let me tell you, I figured it out and it's kludgy and it's ridiculous that you have to go through all of these charades and all of this jumping through hoops to try to get it fixed, but this is exactly how you do it. You have moved it. Now, in my case, I am referring to um, Garretton samples. So if you happen to have Garretton samples and you happen to have a Plogue Aria player and you wanted to move your samples to another drive, this is how you solve the problem. So let me tell you what the problem is. The first thing is I created an audio library volume inside an eight terabyte SSD, very fast drive. And here are my samples, harps, jab, orchestra, studio violin. Okay, so I want to move all these. These are all my other ones too. I have to deal with all these others too, but okay. So I put them here. It used to be in another hard drive that doesn't exist. So what happens is, let's just say I want to, I don't know, open up the Garretton Orchestra. So I go over here. I'm in Logic. I'm not in Logic Pro. I'm in, yeah, I am in Logic Pro. And uh, I wanted to create, let's see, how do we do this? Go to my instrument. Now I'm going to go to Aria Player and I'm going to click Stereo. And what it's going to do is, if I click Instant Orchestra, for instance, and I go here and I just kind of throw this, it's going to say, hey, wait a minute, I'm looking in the other folder, and it's not there. There is nothing that ARIA plug has done to allow me to update this. If I go to Settings, this path, nope, that's wrong, that's not right, that, that doesn't do it. I don't just change it here, okay? Don't think that's, that's what it is. You ready for this? I'm going to close this. And as you can see, I tried to run ARIA with the instant orchestra and here let me try to open it up keyboards from jab and you still have the same problem so I have to tell the software not to go to this hard drive SSD audio lib SSD I have to go to this drive volumes audio library aria and it will now find the location okay so I've described to you what the problem is and this is how you solve it so first thing I want to do is I want to go to no plugin and I just want to close this because we are done with this for now we're done with this for now okay now, what I'm going to do is, this is the step one, and you have to do it in these steps. Don't think you can cut this short, because if you think you can, you will be wrong. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to the Mac Pro hard drive library, and I want to go down to preferences here. Okay, and I want to go find all of the Garretton preferences. Garretton, it's these four from here to here. Okay, I'm going to widen this for a second. I just want to let you know, you don't need to do anything to the first one. The Aria player, P-list, you don't need to edit it. Now, if I was to go and say, for instance, by the way, you can see I fixed this, but if I was to go here and here, I happen to use something called a plist editor. You cannot use the text editor. I used a plist editor, which you can find at the App Store. If I click the, this and open it, and then I try to change it from here, it will give me an error message saying, you don't own this file. Here, let me give you an example. Okay, I'm gonna say, open up this one. Right click, open up. I'll tell you the error you'll get if you try to edit it. If I go here, and by the way, it's down at Banks, down at Standard. It's not this install directory. Don't touch it. It's right here. Okay, so if I click and I do audio library, I'm going to update this. I have to do it by hand. Now that's the correct new path that I've created. By the way, I'm going to copy this so because I don't have to, so I don't have to do it again. Okay. If I go to try to save this, it'll say, oh, you don't have permission. It's not your full file. You can't edit it. Do you want to create a duplicate? No, you don't want to create a duplicate. You just want to cancel. It's just stupid to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shortcut the system, and I'm going to just drag these to my desktop. That simple. Okay? Drag it to my desktop. Now I'm over here. Now I can right-click the desktop version because the desktop version is a file that I actually own. Okay? Now I'm not going to stop touch the install directory. I'm going to go to banks and there's going to be both a standard and a notation for some of these. And I'm just going to highlight and then click paste. And there's my new folder. And I'm going to click OK. And that's that. Now I'm going to go to this one here. Go to banks. There's notation and standard. Don't ask me why they have those two, but they do. And come over here and I'm going to highlight here. Let me widen it so you see what I'm doing. Boom. Paste. Same thing here. Okay, paste. Now, don't think we're done. Don't don't go away. We're not done. We're not done yet. Okay. So all of these are properly updated. 
So let me just kind of open it up and you can see banks just I'm just double click to see that the, I've changed them properly. Audio library, audio library. Yes, that's done. Those are all done. So I'm going to take these and put them back. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Don't go away. I'm going to click move. I'm going to click apply all and replace. So now I know and then I have to put my password in and you can see it's updated now. OK, it's updated now. If I click command I and you look at the bottom. If you can get to the bottom, I can't get to the bottom in this version. OK, with this resolution, oh, I can. Now it's me read and write. See, that's my permission. So I basically have hijacked it. So we are not done yet because if I try to go back over here and I boot it up and I try to load it up, it's still going to read the P list that it had when it booted because these P lists go into memory. And how do I get rid of it? If there's a command to refresh my plist or reread them, great. I don't know that command. If you can find that command, you let me know because I don't know. But I'm going to show you what happens after I've edited them, okay? If all I'm doing is edit, editing them, I'm going to load up my session. I'm going to put in my instrument and go to ARIA player and go to stereo. And I am going to pick, I don't know, personal orchestra five, standard woodwinds and click. And it's going to say, what? It's still reading the old one. Why? Because this is the path that was correct when I booted the computer. So guess what now I have to do? I have to reboot the computer. If I can get around this and you know how to do that, let me know. But I'm going to stop this video recording. I'm going to reboot the computer and I'm going to show you what that means. So I'll be right back in one second. Okay, so now I've rebooted. So let's see what happens now. This is the real moment of truth. We'll see what happens. Let's going to boot up Logic Pro. Now I go to my ARIA player and let's see, does it work? It does. Does my jab work? Let's see, standard, string section, violas, boom. My, my standard does, my notation does, solo strings, viola, boom. Yes. Okay, so as a recap, as a recap text. I'm going to give you a recap of what to do. So number one, go to library, preferences. I have to type library. And then you'll fix it. That's it. 